Well, greetings, Cancer. How are you? And welcome to Ingrid's Insights. Uh, let's dive right in and see what this message is for Cancer. Whenever you come upon this, this is meant for you. And the universe wants you to know that you're coming out of a, a time of isolation. And you've gotten a lot of self-knowledge now. And it's going to help you uh, come into a union in a new way, a partnership. Uh, you could be connecting to this person on the beach or uh, at the uh, ocean around a lighthouse. And uh, that is what I see. And as you come into this union, whenever you see this, this is what's on your mind. And you have a lot of uh, deep feelings about it and uh, some intuition about what this union is. It could maybe not have even come in yet. A cancer. It could be just a suddenly, a, out of the blue, going to come to you. And this is what I have for cancer. And thank you, spirits, for bringing us this precise, clear, and accurate information. So the energy around you, cancer, is you're at a crossroads. You are um, blindfolded and closed off right now mentally. Maybe you can't see something about uh, this union, this partnership, but the wheel will be turning in your favor. So something is coming where you're going to have to make a decision. And it's coming because uh, you could be suspended or someone around you is holding you up from making a decision. You, could, you might be holding yourself back because you're not sure. Uh, you have a lot of um, new vision about what is possible. You're seeing something from a new perspective, but it could be taking you time, and you're not ready to see what it is truthfully that's uh, coming in illumination. So let's see what is at the foundation of this cancer. Well, the Ten of Pentacles, well, there is a lot of wealth, family connection, a security, uh, abundance around you financially, and that could be the root of of this situation that maybe you need to sacrifice a one way of living for a new way and you are not sure you're ready to make that decision. Maybe a decision about an inheritance uh, that you're sharing with family and there's a lot of mental clarity but also maybe there is um, being hung up. Uh, someone is hanging you up from making this decision about your wealth, about your fulfillment, about your security, about something with your family. And it's coming because of the hermit. Well, I saw that in the pre-shuffle and cancer, there is this Virgo energy. And you've got, with the hangman, the, um, you've got that Pisces energy. And with the Ten of Pentacles, a lot of Earth, Capricorn, uh, Taurus, uh, Virgo, and the Two of Swords is Gemini, that crossroads, that air, that Libra, Aquarius. But you've been using that hermit energy, looking at the details, maybe studying, reading, um, uh, looking online, uh, getting information and messages. But you're in a sacred space. It looks like you're up in the um, uh, attic of a church by the stained glass windows in the bell tower. But you are going to get the information you need, and that was the influence, um, cancer from the recent past. And now it's time for you to maybe move out uh, away from that isolation, to make a decision to get out of this kind of stuck mode of being suspended um, around all of this security, this happiness, this wealth, this um, stable life that's very generational. Uh, children, family, grandchildren, ancestors. And you're hung up, maybe that's at the root of all of this. And you are the Four of Pentacles. Well, this is a card of balance, um, balancing your money, feeling stable. Maybe there is uh, some a way that you are uh, needing to know now from your visions that you are too possessive or someone is very possessive of you and you've gone inward to look into that. And you feel like, okay, I'm pretty secure financially, uh, but something's hanging me up anyway from making a decision about uh, this wealth, 
what I want to create, what I want to leave behind, what I want to be known for, what I base my uh, self-understanding on. And it's coming because there is a lot of competition around this. There's the um, five of wands. We could say that there's fighting, uh, arguments, maybe arguments around family money because uh, there is a crossroad. There's a decision to be made. And uh, you could be or someone else around you that's important to you that's dealing with this legacy could be hung up, taking time, needing to heal, needing to get a new vision, a new perspective that came from this time of isolation, a cancer where you took time out to really study, to get um, to know thyself. And the crown is saying, well, you've done that, and there is a lot of financial security. You don't need to worry about this. You've built it. You've established yourself. But uh, don't be too possessive of money because that could lead to setbacks, to arguments, to quarrels, to feeling that you're in conflict um, energetically about what it is you're uh, dealing with, what will make you happy for the long run, what's going to be solid and rooted. Um, and you're celebrating, and you will celebrate coming to a decision, um, to taking your blindfold off and seeing all these uh, possibilities. There's land, there's islands behind you that you might not have known um, that has been as obscured to you. But you're celebrating with your friends. You're maybe gathering together with uh, some of your old friends or some uh, colleagues, and you're, uh, it's going to help you make this decision and get moving again and get out of conflict. Uh, and to know well, you've got balance emotionally, maybe it's time to uh, see how much legacy you have and to not be as possessive of just the physical world, just focusing on money and needing to um, celebrate. Um, with the Hierophant, well, this is Taurus energy. So there is the influence from around you now. Cancer is this Taurus energy of a commitment, of a, a new contract. You could be signing with someone, and there could be a lot of competition and arguments. It could be a, something about a legacy, a will, uh, an inheritance. And uh, you're going to celebrate it, this decision. And you're going to also maybe speak to a, a priest, a rabbi, a religious teacher, or someone who is just wise, who's going to help you make a good decision. Um, and that is the influence from your environment. It could be a Taurus energy. And the uh, hope and fear is uh, the Ace of Swords, that you'll get clarity, that you'll be given this truth, this gift, and recognize the sword uh, cuts both ways. Uh, for uh, this situation, Cancer, and you've got the ace to the two. So your hope and fear is that you'll be given this truth, this clarity, so you can make a decision and get out of this suspension um, and to uh, um, move toward making uh, a decision about a legacy, about what kind of life you want to secure, how you want to relate to family what you've known and studied about yourself and coming out of isolation. Um, and maybe somebody has been very possessive of you and you're fighting that now so you can celebrate a choice you're going to be made and the choice is coming with the influence of um, someone who is very wise. Uh, maybe a partnership like a marriage contract. This also could be that there is an initiation you're going through because you're seeing something clearly now. You're getting a clarity uh, from above about these deeper truths that you've been studying with the hermit. And the um, <clears throat> advice is, wow, the Ten of Cups. Well, you've got the Ten of Cups and the a Ten of Pentacles. So a cancer, you're moving toward this legacy of wealth, security, a property, but of a, a life that you know is grounded and real and will last, but also this happiness. And this is uh, coming as your advice. Um, and so it's saying the advice is to 
after whatever this difficulty was that has had you uh, suspended, hung up, um, you are going to uh, build uh, both from the ground up this legacy, this wealth, this security, this stability, uh, a connection with others that last, but also uh, something that is, you're gonna get the truth about what is gonna make you happy. And it's something that is going to be connected to this Taurus energy of um, wisdom, of connecting the um, higher wisdom of that source energy uh, with your belief system and seeing the truth. And that will bring you into this uh, bliss, this happiness uh, that's coming for you, Cancer. And you're gonna uh, know this because of the rainbow. It's gonna be a sign of optimism and inspiration and celebration. And you're gonna celebrate that with others. And this is how you're seeing a decision that needs to be made. And it will be made in favor of this bliss, this happiness. Whatever it is, it's time to uh, celebrate uh, the truth of what makes you happy. And um, what is clear, what is accurate, what is this new gift toward triumph? And uh, that is what I have for you, Cancer. And uh, so it is, an amazing reading with the Ten of uh, Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. I mean, uh, you can't get much more blissful than this. Happy, secure. And you'll come to that with celebration. And uh, that is what you will come to as you come into this reading. It's meant for you. Uh, the universe wants you to have this message right now. And the message is coming uh, from a higher power. Uh, you will know it. Uh, you will feel it. You will receive it and be initiated into this a new way of committing yourself uh, to yourself and to uh, your higher vision. And uh, so it is. And sending you love, Cancer, today, wherever you are. And thank you so much for participating here with me. I love doing these readings for you and listening to your uh, comments and feeling your energy around me. And thank you so much. And sending you love. Bye-bye.